Hi, this is David from ChristianOwned.com and I'm going to give you a short video about some plants in one of the uh, raised bed garden uh, containers that I've grown some seeds that we got on a deal and what these are are I believe these are cucumber uh, plants if I recall correctly and at least one tomato plant we have here that is what I call a, uh, what some may call a volunteer tomato plant from uh, last year I had tomatoes in this raised bed this uh, garden box I last year had tomatoes and I think some of the seeds that I planted then or maybe some of the tomatoes that dropped in the earth one or both of those things caused um, some tomato uh, plants to sprout up but mostly what I planted in this particular box this year was uh, cucumbers and the reason I'm showing you this is you see these are nice big lovely cucumber plants with flowers on them hopefully that they'll uh, get pollinated by the butterflies and bees and if not I may have to come in with a, a q-tip like my dad taught me and do some uh, manual pollination but these cucumber plants with the nice flowers on them came from this little pack of seeds here Now this may be hard to believe, but this pack of seeds was only 20 cents. I believe it's 20 cents um, on the deal that uh, Ann, who does a lot of uh, research for us here at ChristianOwned.com, that uh, she got me onto, and I bought this pack of seeds for 20 cents, and then grew all of these nice lovely cucumber plants and hopefully if I get a lot of nice cucumbers from them I'll probably try to come back later when things have pollinated and cucumbers are growing. Oh there is one other thing I, I do want to point out in this box next to the cucumber box. Uh, you can see it's kind of chopped up and uh, I think this is a tomato plant at least maybe one or two or so tomato plants that grew on their own from maybe seeds I planted last year or maybe tomatoes dropping in the, in the earth and um, oh let me back up a sec besides the seeds that I planted to grow the cucumbers and um, these volunteer tomato plants I've experimented this year and didn't add any fertilizer uh, I have been mulching uh, organic vegetable material from our kitchen you know you chop the heads off of uh, certain uh, vegetables that you're going to cook or you peel oranges or you take eggshells I take all that kind of vegetable anything that will grow not any meat or grease or anything but things that grow that are vegetation that are the discarded part of it like peelings and I, I um, compost those I've been using that but I've been uh, restraining myself from using any store-bought uh, fertilizer and we seem to be doing pretty good so I mean that's hard to beat 20 cents for a pack of seeds and then of course whatever the you know minor cost is of water no store-bought um, fertilizer just stuff we were going to throw away anyway and that's what we're doing uh, in most of our if not all of our raised bid garden boxes but in any case back to why this box here looks a bit chopped up um, there was a snake that while I was gardening here was behind this box and the snake would maybe I don't know three feet it was a it was a big snake I think it might have been a gopher snake and it had creeped in behind the box and then I saw its tail sticking out from the back of the box when I was going back and forth and it, it did quite startle me I want to warn you to be careful where you stick your hands 
when you're gardening. I mean, we live in a suburban area, but even in a suburban area, you may have snakes. So I took my ax here and uh, basically had to chop the head off of the snake. I was trying to use a shovel or a hoe um, gardening utensil, but it was a bit difficult. So I just went and grabbed my ax, chopped the head off, and dispatched the snake. So just a warning, be careful. But you can see, you know, and I'll post um, more videos and pictures in the uh, grow something section of christianown.com but you can see that you know there are multiple ways to save money with fresh organic produce so I've, I've gone on a bit long but I think I'll end there as far as uh, my tip for today on gardening